Hi, it's me again with Krill Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this pretty neat logo, color wheel, or whatever you want to call it, and asked how you could draw that. There might be 10 ways to draw that. I'm going to put some indexing lines in the center of the page. And I'm just going to take a circle. I'm going to go to object, convert it to a curve. I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm just going to make this circle with the shape tool. Maybe a weirder shape. And then I'm going to fill it in with black and take away the outline. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. Double click on it and move your rotation to the center. And then the whole key to me on this is this, the twirl tool. That's probably too big. Let's make it like 10 inches. You want it bigger than your object. Click on your object so you've gained it and then go to the center. Well, I'm ahead of myself. We've got a copy there. Let's double click on it, move the rotation. Let's rotate it 30 degrees. Control D, 60 degrees. Then Control D, Control D. My old laptop can't keep up sometimes. Then group this together, Control G. Let's zoom in here. Now let's get this. The twirl tool. Click on your item so you've got it, then go to the center and just start rotating. Now that may be not what you want, so let's back up and let's go the other direction. That's pretty close. I went maybe a little bit too far. You know, that doesn't have quite the curve to it. So there's one way. The other way would be to take a six-sided polygon. Remember that we have 30 degree increments. Control D and make a duplicate and rotate it 30 degrees. And then fill in these boxes with your smart fill tool. And I, there is one other way to do this that I'm going to show it to that might be the best. This shape will actually give you some weird color sometimes. I am going to take away the outline and I'm going to group this together. And I'm going to get the twirl tool. Click on your item and then get right in the center. And that's pretty close. I went a little bit too far and maybe they're touching a little bit too much. So there's one, there's another way. Of course, we'd have to individually color them. The other way would be to take your artistic media tool and just kind of draw a line and that might even work right there. Control D to duplicate it. Double click on it, move the rotation of the center. We might be a little bit far out. Whenever you have that happen, there's something, something wrong. Let's, let's, uh, let's move the center rotation there. Okay. There's a, there's a good example. Artistic media tool is really bad about this. Select it all, break the artistic media apart. You've got that hidden line that you had before. So control D and make a duplicate. I forget about that sometime. And then rotate this 30 degrees. I can see we're too far out. So let's back up here. I'm just too high on the knob to get them close together. Control D to duplicate it. See, we've moved our rotation that far. Rotate it to 30 degrees. We're probably still a little bit too, too far. We need them actually a little bit uh, closer together. So 
let's move it closer still. Control D, I'm just gonna leave that other one there for a while. Rotate it 30 degrees. Wow, that looks pretty good. Now, to get that, and it, I know it looks different than that one, but uh, you can uh, pick and choose. Now, these are still individual, so we could go through here now and change the colors. Blues. I'm just going to go down the RGB color scale. Or not really a scale, but just a chart. And keep using the... And, and I don't think the person wants those particular colors. And then you start running out of good colors and you go down to the bottom. Get some other good uh, purples or... I don't... It, for the video, it doesn't really matter. And that one needs to be something kind of nice because it's not well too many blues together and there you have it I mean I know it's not dead on to that but they said they just wanted something close uh, and you could have I could have picked any shape you know any uh, you know I didn't I just picked the first artistic media tool that came up you know I could have done the um, that one and that might have done, let's just, you know, if you're bored of watching my video, just, uh, I was going to say hang up, just, uh, let's see if this works. You know what, and I'm also going to use the um, transformation docker on this one. Okay, here we go again. You've got to select it all, go to object, break the artistic media apart, move that out of the way, and just delete it. Then you can double. So if you ever had that problem uh, with the artistic media tool, that's what it is. So I'm going to go to Windows, Dockers, Transform or Transformation, depending on which one. Uh, 30 degrees. We need uh, 11. Might work. Now we need to group them together, control G. They're probably going to, control G, they're going to uh, probably run into each other. Yep, I had them too close. But it just give you some ideas. Maybe the circle trick helped the most. And if you, you know, you could try, you know, different shapes. It doesn't have to be a, you know, I started off with a, uh, let's just take a rectangle. Let's angle it a little bit. Let's fill it in with black. Especially now that we've got the uh, transformation docker open. Tell you what, we need to make it a little bit bigger. When I had the transformation docker open. Docker's transformer transformation. And then, let's see what happens now if we group it together. Because you never know what you're going to get with the twirl tool. Control G to group it together. Twirl tool. We need to make it a little bit bigger, maybe 15 inches. Click on your item. Wow. Ha. Huh. That's pretty close to the picture, if I don't say so myself. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.